hello everyone a uh, quick update uh to the russian positions in northern ukraine so basically it's the kiev front and the sumi front at the same time uh, so i i did mention here that i update the map uh according to the you know all the russian positions is updated because of uh, operational information from the general staff of the armed forces of ukraine so uh, according to the ukrainians they actually uh provided uh, information in terms of uh, where the russians are holding their positions and then because of that um as well as the strike uh the the airstrike uh not airstrike but long-range missile strike on the uh, basilic uh Vasilev air base uh this kind of tells me that uh the russians actually do not control the southern the southern uh, part of kiev anymore so this also pro this comes at the same time surprisingly that so so because of this airstrike uh it let me know that uh, the russians actually do not control the airfield because they will have used ground forces so and then the the ukrainians happen to uh inform us of all the russian positions uh that they 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 know of so let me go through uh, all of them firstly um uh, previously there was a uh, the I, I drew the border all the way to abu Kif because uh there were report of the russians uh moving all the way here uh this is no longer valid because uh probably they are unable to hold this ground here maybe you know, too much too much reinforcement from the south fighting them um the position now uh the low the southernmost position they have now is actually at a uh, horunchi horunichi as well as uh montizen so this is the southernmost edge of the uh positions uh on the west side of kiev uh they also of course hold positions at uh bucha and then in andrivka and uh this is let me check if i if this is correct mm. no i i shall delete that away okay so um they also have our uh, forces uh at uh borodyanka demi uh demi diff kukhavi and uh police so a few of these positions this 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 and this are border positions uh as well as an uh, important uh, junction at borodyanka so this actually marks the the extent of the russian invasion it doesn't seem like they want to go further out so uh <clears throat> this is what we have now um and they are no longer in the south so which means that previously there's only one route out of kiev now there are actually you no know, multiple routes and southern routes are going to the villa sakia uh serva villa serva and uh all the way to uh kropinivsky so uh the situation uh in kiev uh is a lot more freer now uh given this new update uh, of course there's also this fortified position at uh, at this entire line uh through Berdanivka to uh Set Setinia. Uh the the battle here uh from my understanding seems to be the Russian tried to advance towards Bravari and then they got hit uh by the U the Ukrainians. So not much other information uh there's also uh, information that the russians are trying to capture uh by the ukrainian sources that uh which is, which is the government Shitovistia and uh mihailo kotsubinsky so basically they are the rationale by the uh ukrainians is that they are trying to occupy these two locations to encircle or to con continue the encircling of uh Shenihiv. So and then they also reported uh, the Russian positions on the Sumi side, the Sumi front, where the Russians are reported to be positioned at a uh, Lembedin, Lem, uh, Lembedin, uh, Mok 
uh, Moskofi, Moskowski Bobrik, Bobrik and uh, Velikia Pasarivka. So this makes sense. This maybe makes sense. So these are the three positions they, the Ukrainians uh, claim that the Russians are basing. They also talk, uh, they also mentioned Kupians and uh, Svatov. So this is the update by the Ukrainians uh, telling you know, the, the entire of Ukraine where the Russian positions are. Uh, whether how accurate it is, um, I just reporting. So since the Ukrainians say that, and then I think it makes sense. So as a result, uh, some of the map uh, does look a bit different from uh, the yesterday's because I redrew some of the borders to match the positions of the Russian positions. So that's that. So this is the quick update regarding the Russian positions as per the updated information from the Ukrainians uh, as well as the because of this strike telling us that there is actually no more U uh, Russian forces in this southern area of Kiev. Uh, if you might be interested, there is a there is this Russian source uh, about a missile strike on Ukrainian forces that were based uh, in this uh, place. What is this place called? Uh, Bereshivka. So uh, uh, they allegedly the, they hit the dormitory and which the eight separate mountain infantry battalion is uh, based and housed and they claim that the entire unit is destroyed so uh, this what the russians claim i don't think uh, there's a, a lot of uh, truth in just taking out the entire unit because of the dormitory but uh and neither do i track the the units that is in the in the uh in the war so it doesn't really mean a lot to me maybe it will mean a lot more to uh, some of the other they are covering based on the units you know that is in the fight uh, otherwise uh, this situation from this map now looks still not very good uh, in terms of it's not very good for the Russians it's, it's actually also not very good for the Ukrainians uh, looks like a massive stalemate here uh, so anyway this is just a quick update uh, regarding uh, this Russian position so um, if you're still around, um, please do uh, subscribe if, if you haven't. Do press the like button and I will see you in the next update, which is likely to be the summary for the day. Yes. So I'll see you uh, in the next video.